guys welcome back to the channel for those of you who are new a very big warm welcome from me to you and for those of you who are returning i just have to say last week whenever i did my parents master bedroom makeover i was not expecting at all just how sweet it just people have been just so genuinely kind in the comment section and it just it means so much to me like i for real i got like a little emotional when i was reading the comments i can't even lie it just was so sweet and i just wasn't expecting that at all so thank you guys so much for just being so genuinely kind and just really really supportive and sweet so today i wanted to kind of do a little diy project i was surfing on west elm's website the other night and i got really super inspired by these form study bases they come in black cream sand and the gray and they're all absolutely beautiful like if i had time i would want to make every single one of them but i had to choose one they range anywhere from 40 to around 100. So I fell in love with the sand one. I loved the color, I loved the texture. Something about these, like I just love how imperfect they are, how bumpy the surface is, how not everything is perfectly even, like maybe one side of the vase is just a tad bit lower than the other. It just really gives it that like handcrafted, handmade feel, which I really, really love. The sand finish is 74, which for me is just a lot. I personally could not spend that much on one single vase, so I thought, okay, why don't we take some air dry clay I've never used any before I've taken ceramics classes but every single time I've used clay it's just been the clay that you have to put inside of the kiln so I thought it would be kind of fun to experiment and just take a lot of inspiration from these form study vases take that inspiration and turn it into just a big DIY thing so hopefully fingers crossed that it turns out cool across this girl's tutorial where she also is making some air dry clay projects and she finishes off her pieces with a coffee stain which I think Thought was really really cool and interesting so we are going to try and do a little coffee stain at the end after we're done making the vase i'm really excited to kind of just experiment and see how it comes out so let's do it for this project we will need some air dry clay a plastic knife a clay rib or you can cut up an old card like i did some parchment paper a little bit of masking tape a small sponge a little bowl of water and a rolling pin bottle or you can even use a can. So one of the first things we're going to do is tape a piece of parchment paper onto our work surface just to kind of keep it somewhat clean and then we're just going to put out all of our materials. Next, we are going to start rolling our coils and we're going to try and pre-roll quite a few of them. This will just make the process go by easier when we do start building our neck and our rim of the base. So we're going to take our first coil and make a loop connecting the end of the coil to the inside, roughly around three to four inches in diameter. Next, we're going to start scoring and slipping by scratching the surface really, really good and adding a small amount of water before placing our next coil on. This will ensure that the clay does not break apart or crack easily. This is a repetitive process, but I promise you guys it's super easy to do and honestly can be kind of therapeutic. As you're putting each coil on, try and just very gradually place each one a little further to the outside edge to create a taper going towards the rim. Then we are going to use our rib to just scrape away where we connected the coils until it's smooth. We're going to keep adding coils until we get to about six-ish to seven inches tall. We're going to pinch our edges until the clay wall is pretty even in thickness, then give it a little spritz, wrap it loosely in some plastic and set it aside. Now we are going to start making the bottom half of our vase by rolling a chunk into a ball, giving it a really good smack and then rolling it out as even in thickness as we can. We're gonna go in and cut off our edges just to get it nice and smooth and round. So 
So this next process is very similar to the other, except this time we are going to place our coils gradually going outwards and then at about halfway, start to place our coils gradually going inwards to make a narrow opening. Your opening diameter should be the same size as the bottom of the first piece we made in order to connect together. So now all we need to do is just make, I think just a little coil to go on the inside and the outside to connect these two. So then that way it will stick together and hold in place. I'm excited. Success. Going to take a little piece of clay and stick it on the inside using your finger and just smoothing it out the best you can. <music> Lastly, we're going to take our rib again and just going over everything to smooth the surface. Hey you guys, so after we get done just kind of getting our general shape and our texture that we want on the outside of the vase, we are going to actually take the plastic that we used earlier. We're going to wrap this thing up very, very loosely, just so then that way you can still get some airflow. I usually try and check on mine like every 45 minutes to an hour or so. I'm gonna use a fan just to kind of expedite that drying process so we don't have to wait for it to dry for multiple days. So this is the part where you just have to monitor it really, really closely so it doesn't crack. I usually bring like a squirt bottle with me just so then that way if it looks like it's drying out too quickly then I'll just do a little spritz and kind of loosely cover it with the plastic again. We're going to do that hopefully dry overnight so then tomorrow we can put on the finish. Just took this thing out. It is still warm. It is hot and fresh out of the oven. I decided last night after I had wrapped it in the plastic, it did dry pretty quickly. But in order for us to do the finish today, I thought, okay, why don't we try and put the vase inside of the oven just for a little bit and see how it does. So I found this girl's blog post, which I will link down below. She took air dry clay and she put it in the oven at 200 degrees, just a really, really low temperature. She just checked on it every five minutes, left it in there for 20 minutes. And that definitely helped this with the drying time. I was really, really nervous that it might crack but it ended up not cracking at all anywhere so I'm really excited referencing back to West Elm's website last night to our inspiration one of the things that I did notice was that the surface was really really scratched up kind of like horizontally which adds a whole entire layer of dimension and texture to the piece so I took a kitchen knife and I did just a little test spot just to see if I kind of liked those horizontal scratch lines very very subtle they're not super deep lines I'm really really loving the texture and the way that it came out I'm thinking let's just scratch this thing up then we'll put the finish on it and hopefully it comes out cool I went and picked up some instant coffee and started with one pack I added some hot water and a few more packets to darken the stain looking after one coat. I'm excited about how much the textures and the lines that we put in are showing up with this coffee stain. I'm just going to go in for a second coat of the coffee and then maybe a third. I don't know. We'll gauge it. We'll see what we think. I ended up putting a third coat on. I think two would have been plenty for a lighter shade, but overall I'm pumped with how this vase turned out. I love how the coffee stain really brought out the texture and imperfections, giving it a worn look. Check off 
air dry clay on the experimentations. I've never used it before. I really enjoyed the process of just experimenting with it. Trial and error and especially the coffee stain at the end. Really excited with how this vase turned out and I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching. I hope that you took some inspiration from this video. Hopefully it will just inspire you to experiment with some air dry clay projects of your own. If you enjoyed watching this video, it would mean the absolute world to me if you would subscribe for many, many projects to come in the future. Give this video a thumbs up and until next time you guys.